okay guys there is a lot of um, kind of outside noise and then just in the house you'll hear some beeping and whatnot it's the um, smoke alarm it needs a new battery and the AC is really loud so um, I'm gonna try and do this without doing a voiceover but we'll see so this is the front door when you first walk in we have the stairs going up and then the grand um, living room so the ceilings are 17 feet tall we have a cute little fireplace and just a cozy little living room here i'm gonna put like an entry table here hopefully with like a mirror and just make it look super cute but i'll show y'all kind of how tall it is Walking this way, you'll see the front two windows. And there's no light bulbs here yet, so it might be kind of dark. But it's pretty open, very neutral. Pretty much updated. There is some work that needs to be done throughout, so I'm excited to kind of get my hands on that. Walking through the living room, this is the dining room. The door needs to be replaced because there's no lock on it, so that's what that rod is. So that will have to be replaced pretty soon. And it's just tile, of course, needs to be cleaned. And then we have the kitchen. We are gonna be getting all new appliances and I will share that with you guys. I will probably be doing like house vlogs, so I'll share that process with you guys, but um, they did do, they did put in new light fixtures. There is new um, granite countertops and then new um, faucets throughout the house as well. I love, I love, love, love this sink and the faucet. It's so nice. And just super big and deep. Oh, I'm, I'm obsessed love that now the laundry room is also in the kitchen so that kind of isn't ideal but this is a small home and it is an older home so at least there's indoor laundry and it's not in the garage so i do have big plans for the space as well so we will be doing a video on you know laundry makeover or organization and um, we do need to come in and clean up all the tile um yeah, they didn't do a good job when leaving, I guess. This is our little pantry. So, very small. Gonna have to get creative with storage, that's for sure. Um, definitely need some paint touch-ups in there. Like I said, we're getting all new appliances, so New fridge, new stove, new washer dryer, dishwasher, all that good stuff. I will take y'all back outside in a minute after we show the house. Going this way, we have a hall closet under the stairs. They left the leftover tiles, so that's good, but it's just a nice little hall closet. another closet here so that'll be good for storage coming this way is the master it's a pretty spacious room I'm excited I really like it um, I definitely need a brighter light it's kind of dark in here going this way is the master bathroom a lot of the fixtures in here are new as well. Um, I do need to do some some paint touch-ups and I wanna switch out the hardware in here and in the kitchen. But um, there's matching gra granite countertops throughout and then new faucets as well. So yeah, your standard kind of bathroom. I love that it's double sinks, so perfect for Abel and I. And also, sorry, I don't mean to make y'all dizzy. 
I love how I have a window bench in my bedroom. I had that my last time with y'all been here a while and I'm so excited to have it actually in my bedroom. But those blinds, they got to go. <laughs> take y'all upstairs. Now I don't like that the stairs is obviously like right in front of the door, but, and then they have, they replaced the carpet before leaving and they left these here, but it's to hide this ugly brown tile here. So I'm gonna have to figure out something um, like peel and stick or something for this area because I don't like that. <laughs> But at least the carpet is new. I'm just gonna go all the way upstairs. These upstairs bedrooms get like beautiful natural light, which I love. We have a full bath here at the top of the stairs and then a linen closet here. And it's the same. Definitely need some touch up work and whatnot, which we'll take care of, but it's just a tub, a toilet, Vanity. This is one. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. This is one of the bedrooms. They're pretty small. I think they're only like 12 by 12, but they get really nice natural light. And then this one has a lot of storage. It has the closet along the entire wall, so that's nice. Both of these doors are, is a closet. Going back down the hall to the other side is an identical bedroom with a closet as well. One of these is going to be Abel's office and the other one a guest room. So really cute. This closet isn't as big though. So this is probably going to be the guest room that way we can use the other closet for storage and this one will just have, will just be available for guests. All right, now I'm going to take you outside. So I decided to do a voiceover because it is just too loud. The neighbor is mowing and yeah, it was just easier this way. So in this area, I'm gonna put my egg chair, probably do like a pergola or a canopy. Over here, we want to do a um, really pretty like built-in fire pit and then barbecue. And then over here is just like the grassy green area. Um, because of the large tree over here, it's like kind of you know, muddy with all the leaves and whatnot. So we want to clear that up and just maybe put gravel in or pavers so we can have a really cool like fire pit lounge area. But our garage is detached. I was even thinking on the wall to the left by the garage door of doing like an outdoor projector with my egg chair and some other lounge seating. Ugh, I can't. Alrighty, so that is the empty house tour. I'm um, sorry it was kind of like vlog style. I hope it wasn't too shaky, um, but I'm just here by myself and I wanted to get this filmed for you guys and for me just so I can see what the house looked like when we first bought it before we moved anything in or even did any projects. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you stay and subscribe and follow along and in our house journey. Um, we have a lot of things planned. I have a lot of content planned for you guys and I am just super excited. So give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.